Hello, good evening, friends. This is uh, SBA clerk. Test form number one four six six eight. SBA clerk mains exam. Let's start from question number ninety one. So these are questions based on data sufficiency. What is the peri? What is the percentage of profit earned by selling an article after giving fifteen percentage discount? We have to identify percentage of profit. Had there been no discount offered. The percentage of profit earned would have been forty percentage. If there is no discount offered, no discount offered in the sense we are selling it at market price. That is hundred percent of market price. So hundred percentage of market price is equal to one forty percentage of the cost price. Now your question is to identify profit percentage when there is fifteen percentage discount. If there is fifteen percentage discount, you are selling item at eighty five percentage of market price. Now, when you know relation between market price and cost price, we can definitely calculate how much is 85 percent of the market price. So, when you know 85 percent of the market price in terms of cost price, we can definitely identify how much is profit percentage. Hence, one alone is sufficient to answer the question. Second information says selling price of the article after giving a discount is 2380. And the labeled price of the article is two thousand eight hundred. Labeled price meaning market price. When you know market price, which is equal to two thousand eight hundred, and the selling price, we can calculate only discount offered here or discount percentage. But our question is profit percentage. Profit percentage can be calculated only when you know cost price and the selling price. So that information is not available in second information, second statement. Hence, only first statement is sufficient to answer the question, but not the second one. Next, what is the strength of the college X, where students are studying arts, commerce, and then science discipline? So we have arts, commerce, and then science discipline, and you are asked to calculate all the students' strength. It is not about male or female. Number of students studying arts, commerce, science are in the ratio one, three, four. So they are in the ratio one, three, four. One part, four parts, and then three parts. Order is important, and hence well, arts, commerce, science. Yeah, one, three, four. One, three, four. So four parts, three parts, and then one part. We need to calculate answer in terms of number, but here we have only ratio. Using only ratio, it cannot be done. Second statement: Number of students studying in science is more than number of those students studying commerce by thousand. Only using second statement is also not sufficient. But now, in science group, we have one part more than commerce group that is equal to thousand, which is there in second statement. Total number of students is equal to eight parts. That is equal to definitely can be calculated. Hence, both the statements are required to answer the question. What is the cost of constructing a two meters wide path outside the rectangular plot along four sides? Rectangular plot we have outside. We need to construct a path with a wide two meters. When you want to know this, what exactly is required? You need to know length and breadth of either inner rectangle or the outer rectangle. Anything is fine. The perimeter of the plot is two twenty meters, and the cost of construction is four fifty. Using only perimeter, can we get the answer? Definitely yes. Using perimeter also, we will get the answer. Most of the people will miss this point. Now, let me tell you: if the inner rectangle length is L, outer rectangle length becomes L plus four. Why are we adding four? Because you need to add two meters here and then two meters here. Total, we are adding four meters. And breadth of outer rectangle is equal to B plus four. Now, path area is equal to outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area. That is equal to L plus four into B plus four minus area of the inner rectangle that is LB. LB minus LB gets cancelled. Four L plus four B that is four times of L plus B plus sixteen. This is our path area. Here, what is this L plus B? When you know perimeter, that is two times of L plus B is two twenty. Then L plus B is one ten. Four times of one ten is equal to four forty. Four forty plus sixteen is equal to four fifty six. This is what the plot area, path area, and you are also given price here into four fifty. This is our final answer. 
So only one alone is sufficient to answer the question. Next, the area of the plot is 3000 square meters and the cost of construction is 450. Here, 3000 square meters is area of the plot. This one, this area is 3000. But our path area is constructed outside the rectangle. We need to know the path area using only plot area, rectangle area. We cannot identify how much is the path area. Hence, the statement one alone is sufficient, but not two sufficient, but not two. Next. Do remember this. Whenever you have something like this path area, you want to calculate. You need to know either length and breadth of inner rectangle or outer rectangle. This is one way you can answer the question. And at the same time, when you know perimeter, do remember this point. When you know perimeter also, we can identify how much is the path area. These two points are very important. This one, 99% people miss. What are the marks obtained by Reshma in research methodology? Average marks obtained by Reshma in quantitative aptitude techniques, quantitative techniques, finance and then research methodology are 115. When you know average, you can calculate some that is equal to 345. This is including research methodology. There are two other subjects. So we cannot calculate answer using first statement. Next one, the average marks obtained by Reshma in quantitative techniques, marketing and research methodology is 125. Using second statement also, we can calculate sum of marks obtained by Reshma in three subjects, which becomes 375. Using these two statements, we can just calculate only difference of marks obtained by Reshma in finance department and marketing department. That's it because quantitative techniques, quantitative techniques, this subject is common. Research methodology, research methodology, that is also common. Only difference is in place of finance, we have marketing. So how many more marks we have here? 30 more marks. This can be concluded something like in marketing, Reshma scores 30 marks more than finance. Only this statement can be concluded. Answer for the given question cannot be done using both statements together. Next. By what percentage is the salary of Siddhant more than salary of Meher? Percentage of salary increase. That's what we need to calculate. Salary of Siddhant is more than salary of Meher by 8000. If Meher salary is X rupees, Siddhant salary is 8000 rupees extra. Using one statement, first statement itself, we cannot answer the question. Salaries of Siddhant and Meher are in the ratio 15 is to 13. You don't know their salaries, but salaries are compared using ratio. Using this, can we calculate how much percentage is Siddhant salary more than Mihir? Definitely yes. Siddhant is getting how many parts more? Two parts more. With respect to Mihir, that is 13 parts percentage into 100. Hence, second statement itself is sufficient to answer the question, but not first statement. Next 96 onwards, these are aptitude questions. The average weight of boys in a class is 45. Average weight of girls in the same class is 36. If the average weight of the whole class is 42.25, number of girls constituted what percentage of total number of students in the class? Okay. Now, boys average is 45. Girls average is 36. Class average is 42.25. We are going for allegation method. Difference between these two numbers is 6.25 here. Difference between these two numbers is 2.75 here. We can treat this number as 625 and then 275. 25, 25 times here. 25, 11 times here. Now, this is a ratio between boys to girls. Your question is to identify girls percentage among the class. Girls are 11 parts among the class in the sense total. 36 percentage into 100. Now, 10 percentage of denominator is 3.6. 30 percentage in the sense 3 into 3.6. That is 3, 3 is 9. 0.63 times 1.8. Total 10.8. Our numerator is little bit more than that. Hence, answer is little bit more than 30 percentage. First option, final answer. Next. 
A rectangular plot tree 36 meters long, 28 meters wide has two concrete crossroads running in the middle of it. One parallel to length, other parallel to breadth. The rest of the plot is used as lawn. If the area of the lawn is 825 square meters, what is the width of the road? Width of the road. That's what we need to calculate. Okay. Now, this is our rectangular plot. Length is 36. Breadth is 28. We have two roads. One parallel to length, another parallel to breadth. Now again, if you look at this, see you can take exactly middle or one side also, no problem. If you look at this, this is another rectangle that we have. If width of the road is x, length of inner rectangle becomes 36 minus 6 and breadth of inner rectangle becomes 28 minus 6. And exactly this is what used as lawn. And lawn area is given as 825. Hence, rectangle area, inner rectangle area is equal to 36 minus x into 28 minus x. This is used as lawn and that is equal to 825. And your question is to identify width of the road. Width of the road is treated as x. We need to calculate x value. Instead of going for simplification and getting the answer, what I would like to do is answer to question. I would like to go answer to question. Now, look at this first option. The right hand side, our value is 5, ending with 5. So, one of these two numbers must be 5 multiple. Let's see first option. When you substitute 4 here, 32 into 24 will not be a 5 multiple. First cannot be your answer. If you subtract 2, this becomes 34 and it becomes 26, not a multiple of 5. Next, when you subtract 3, if you subtract 3 here, this becomes 33 and it is 25. 33 into 25. Yes, we have 5 multiple. Let's verify whether it is the right answer or not. You already know that 425 will give you 100. 825 is 200. 32 25 is 800 and one more 25 825 condition satisfied third option final answer done next 98 onwards these are data interpretation questions there are six villages around city x namely a b c d e f now i would like to convey one point here there are six villages around city x meaning if this is city x Somewhere here we have one village, second village, third village, fourth village, fifth village, sixth village. These villages are not part of the city. Hence, sum of population in these six villages is no way related to population on X. This is one case. Sometimes they will give you something like, in a particular state, there are 10 districts, for example, 10 districts, sum of population of these 10 districts should be equal to total population of the state. I hope you got the point. But here this is not the case. Total population from these 6 villages need not to be equal to total population of city X. Because city X is different and these 6 villages are out of city X. They are not part of city X. The population of village A is 25 percentage of city X. Now they are comparing population in percentage. Somewhere you should see a number. Look at this. Where exactly you have a number? Here we have a number 21,000. What is this? Village F. Total population of village F is 21,000, which is 35 percentage of total population of city X. Okay. Now let me take city X here. And we have A, B, C, D, E, F. Six villages are there. Population of F is 21,000. This is 35 percentage of this number. Now, how do you get 31 uh, percentage divided by 35? 21,000 divided by 35. Let me see that. 21,000 divided by 35. There is another way also. I will tell you that later. 7, 3,000 times 7, 5 times. 3,000 by 5 in the sense that is equal to 600. If one percentage is equal to 600, total 100 percentage is equal to 6000, 60,000. Yes, one percentage is 600, total population 100 percentage is 60,000. This is another way. How to get 
21,000 using 35. Let me tell you. Forget about zeros now. 35, double, 70. 70 triple, 210. And then two zeros. What is that we actually did? Double and then triple. 100 double, 200. 200 triple, 600. And then we have to add two zeros. 60,000. Without using pen and paper, this is what? This is how you can actually answer the question. Now, city X population we have. Let's see from the beginning. From the beginning. A population is 25 percentage of population of city X. 25 percent in the sense one fourth of this number that is equal to 15,000. Half and half of the number. Population of village B is 20 percentage of population of city X. 20 percent of this number that is 12,000. Next. The population of C is two fifth of population of city X. Two fifth in the sense 40 percentage. Already we know 20 percentage. 40 percentage in the sense 24,000. Next, D population is 60 percentage of population of village C. D population is compared with respect to village C population. How much percentage? 60 percentage. How do we get 60 percentage? 50 percent plus 10 percent. 50 percent of this number 12,000. 10 percentage 2,400. 12,000 plus 2,400 that is equal to 14,400. Population of village E is 85 percentage of population of village B. Village B population is 12,000. Out of this, we have to calculate 85 percentage, meaning 15 percent we have to subtract. 10 percentage is 1,200. 5 percentage is half of that, 600. 1,200, 600, 1,800. When you subtract 1,800, you will get 10,200. 10,200. Next, we got all the data. Now let's see questions. What is the average number of villagers in villages B, D, E, F? B, D, E, F. B, D, E, F. Now, first concentrate on thousands. 12,000, 14, 26, 26 plus 10, 36, 36 plus 21, 57, 57,600, 57,000. 600 average divided by 4 4 ones 4 fours 4 fours double zero 14400 third option answer in village b 32 percentage of total population are female in village d 30 percentage of the total population are female village e 28 percentage of total population are female what is the total number of female population of b d e in village B, 32%. Village D, 30%. Village E, 28%. B, D, E. B value is 12,000, 14,400, 10,200. 12,000, 14,400 and then 10,200. 10,200. Now, this is what we need to calculate. Before going to exact simplification, let me do one thing. 12 is 3 multiple. So 32 percent also will be 3 multiple. 30 percent also 3 multiple because 30 is 3 multiple. 10,200 is also 3 multiple. So 3 multiple plus 3 multiple plus 3 multiple should be answer 3 multiple. First option is 3 multiple. That may be your answer. Second option is not 3 multiple. Third option is 3 multiple. Multiple options are there. Now let's see verification. Now. I would like to verify last digit. Let's see whether we have different last digits or not. If it is ending with zero, then only there is a problem. Otherwise, we have different options. Let's see. Let's try our luck. 32 percentage, 32 into 1 percentage. 1 percentage is 120, which ends with zero. 120 into 32 also ends with zero. 1 percentage is 144, 30 percentage in the sense 30 into 144, that is also ending with 0. 1 percentage is 1 or 2, 28 percentage is ending with 8, 8 into 2 ends with 6. Some of these three numbers should end with 6, answer should end with 6. How many options are there? Let's see here. There is only one option which is ending with 6, that is 11,016. Fifth option, final answer. But before going to verify last digit verification i came here and observed options so observing options is also very important 
in village a the respective ratio between total number of male and female is 2 is to 3 if the total number of male in village c is 250 percentage of total number of male in village a what is the respective ratio between total number of male and female in village c first of all in village a 2 is to 3 ratio we have that is equal to 5 parts male are 2 parts in village a and in when it comes to village c that becomes 250 percentage of 2 parts 100 percentage in the sense 2 parts only 200 percentage in the sense 4 parts 250 percentage is 5 parts so whatever total population that we have in village a those many number of male are there those many number of male are there in village c so in village c male population and then female population this is what ratio we need let's see the data in village a total we have 15000 people and in village c we have total 24000 as total population of village a is 15000 male in village c is also 15000 and then female should become 3000 then only sum becomes 24000 three zeros three zeros cancel three five times three three times ratio five by three that is five is to three look at your option five is to three fourth option is our final answer i hope you understand how directly we got this fifteen thousand that is in village a ratio between male and female is given as two is to three total five parts male are two parts in village c male people are 250 percentage of this number 250 percentage in the sense two and a half times only two and a half times 2.5 times of two parts is equal to five parts so whatever total population that we have in village a the same number of male will be there in village c that's the right that's the direct point we got next total population of village a and b together is total population of village a and b together is what percentage more than total number of population from d and e together rounded off to two digits after decimal okay a b together 27000 d e together 24600 27000 24600 what percentage more what percentage more only yes 2400 more from 24600 percentage into 100 this is your final answer now take 10 percentage 10 percentage is equal to 2460 from this if you subtract 60 then you'll get 2400 our numerator one percentage is equal to 246 so you are not supposed to subtract one percent also Hence, answer must be more than 9 percentage but less than 10 percentage. Look at your options. There is only one. 9.76 percent final answer. Next. Total number of children below 10 years of age in village B, E together is 6000. Out of whom 3 fifth are in village B. What percent of population is below 10 years of age in village E? Now, out of 6,000 people, 3 fifth they are saying, 3 fifth in this in 60 percentage. If 60 percentage are in village B, remaining 40 percentage will be in village E. 40 percent of which number? This number. What is 40 percent of 6,000? 2,400. So, these many number of children are there in village E. Now, we need to calculate in terms of percentage. In village E, total how many people are there? 10,200? 10,000. 200 percentage into 100 now 20 percentage of denominator is equal to 10 percentage is 1020 20 percentage is 2040 again we have to add 360 to make our numerator now let's see if 20 percentage is equal to 2040 2 percentage is 204 3 percentage is 306 more than that 4 percentage will be 408 so this number is more than 306 and less than 408 hence this will be in between 3 percent and 4 percentage i'll treat it as three and a half percentage approximate answer should be approximate to 23 and half percentage how many options are there there are three op two options three options are there yes yes there are three options now we need to change our logic 
as there are three options we need to change our logic yes let me tell you one more thing here two zeros two zeros cancel you already know that answer will be in 23 something three options are there everywhere denominator is 17 only if you want to get 17 here with what number we have to go for cancellation six only six 17 times six 400 times your numerator should be 400 meaning that is ending with zero that is what very important now let's see 7 into 3 21 plus 1 is not ending with 0 this is not the right answer 7 into 3 21 plus 6 ending with 7 this is not the right answer hence it has to be your answer you verify it 7 into 3 21 plus 9 ends with 0 yes your numerator is also 400 that is also ending with 0 fifth option final answer now this is done this is another one data analysis number of students attending coaching classes in maths and science from four schools maths and then science from four schools v w x y number of students right come on what is the difference between average number of students attending coaching classes in maths and then science maths and then science right difference between average average and our kabati we have to first calculate what is average students in maths and then average students in science and then we need to go for difference instead of that we can even go for individual difference and then converting it to average individual difference every time subtract maths value from the science value only subtract 80 from 140 you'll have 140 minus 80 60 80 minus 60 20 100 minus 120 minus 20 plus 20 minus 20 gets cancelled 120 minus 100 that is equal to 20 now positive number we have 80 this is difference between maths and then science to convert into average divided by 4 that is equal to 20 20 is our final answer first option next equal sum of money were invested in scheme a and scheme b for two years scheme a offers simple interest and scheme b offers compound interest and the rate of interest for both the schemes are same the interest occurred from scheme a after two years is 1920 and from scheme b is 2112 had the rate of interest of the scheme been four percentage more what would have been the interest occurred from that scheme after two years after two years okay now first of all we need to know how much is rate of interest and then we need to increase the rate of interest by four percentage upon existing rate of interest we need to calculate total interest for two years now let's see 1920 is simple interest for two years then per year that will be equal to 960 second year also 960 this is based on simple interest compound interest first year also 960 there won't be any change second year you should get 960 and extra how much is extra extra in the sense difference between these two numbers this number is 80 less than 2000 this number is 112 more than 2000 difference in the sense 80 plus 112 that is equal to 192 192 extra we are getting what why we are getting 192 extra because that is interest on first year interest out of first year interest 10 percentage is 196 192 will be exactly 20 percentage so rate of interest is 20 percent when the rate of interest is 20 percentage simple interest for two years in terms of percentage is equal to 40 percentage that is equal to 1920 and now the rate of interest is increased by 8 percentage per year but for two years it increases by 8 percentage you can directly calculate how much is that exact 8 percentage when 40 percentage is equal to 1920 4 percentage is equal to 192 8 percentage is equal to 384 so your answer is 04 and then 23 2304 is our new interest after increasing rate of interest by 4 percentage for 2 years 
that is our fourth option next right these are quadratic equation questions just i am verifying whether we have any free question or not we have to calculate this we have to calculate no this is a free question both c values are negative hence we answer for this question is relation cannot be established we don't have to solve it now out of five questions there is only one free question for us today now production of rice in kgs per hectare for three states over the years three states which are those odisha andhra pradesh and then west bengal per hectare yield is given okay right let us not go for table we'll do it when it is required in west bengal the area of production of rice in 2006 was 120 hectares and in 2005 it was 150 hectares what was the ratio between quantities of rice production produced in 2006 and then 2005 we were asked to calculate ratio between rice production in 2006 and then 2005 okay now given values are per hectare per hectare meaning 1 hectare west bengal that is square value in 2006 square value is equal to between 1500 and 2000 we have five lines so each line is equal to 100 now this west bengal in 2006 is just one line below 2000 hence that is equal to production 1900 and the same west bengal in the year 2005 is 2000 upon it there are three more lines that is equal to 2300 so these quantities are per hectare but in 2006 area cultivated is 120 hectares so total rice produced from west bengal in 2006 is 1900 per hectare into 120 hectares the same in 2005 we have 150 hectares into 150 Two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. Thirty four times year, thirty five times year. Nineteen four times nineteen double and then double nineteen double thirty eight, thirty eight double seventy six divided by. How many options are there? Starting with seventy six, there is only one. Seventy six by one one five. That is our final answer. You don't have to calculate this. Next one hundred eleven. Area used for cultivation of rice in 2007 in Odisha was 125 hectares and in West Bengal it was 140 hectares. What was the difference between total production of rice in 2007 by two states, West Bengal and then Odisha? Odisha we have 125 hectares and West Bengal we have 140 hectares. Odisha West Bengal in the year 2007. Odisha, Odisha is triangle. triangle value in 2007 two lines above 2000 hence that is equal to 2200 and west bengal same year west bengal we have 1800 we have 1800 difference between these two numbers this is what you are asked to calculate okay two zeros two zeros are there they are quite common don't worry about it 125 22 two times that can be done like 125 20 times plus 2 times 125 20 times is 2500 plus 2 times is 250 2500 plus 250 that is equal to 2750 two more zeros are there we will consider two more zeros later don't worry about it and here also we have two zeros 140 into 18 as you have zero here in 140 i am writing one zero 14 into 18. I'll treat 14 as 16 minus 2, and this is 16 plus 2. 16 square minus 2 square. 256 minus 4. 252. And you're asked to calculate difference here. 2000, 2000 gets cancelled. 700 minus 500, 200. 50 minus 30, 50 minus 20, 30. And two zeros are left. Now I am adding those two zeros. I'm adding those two zeros now. So final answer twenty three thousand. Look at your option. Which option is that? Twenty three thousand. First option. Next. What is the difference between average production of rice per hectare for Odisha in two thousand four five six? Average production of rice per hectare for Andhra Pradesh in same years two thousand four five six. Difference of what? 
average. As we have done for previous question, we will go for individual difference and then we will convert into average later. This is for which two states? Odisha and Andhra Pradesh from 2004, 5, 6. 2004, 5, 6, first three years, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, triangle and then diamond. Just we have to observe which values are more. Either Orissa more than Andhra Pradesh or Andhra Pradesh more than Odisha. Triangle and then diamond. Triangle is more here. Triangle is more here. Here also triangle is more. So I just take only triangle value minus diamond value. It is better we calculate in terms of number of lines. In the country, Mortam number Nithiskun chase a country, lines like easy to chase each. Two lines here, four lines here. Total six lines we have. Each line is equal to 100, that is equal to 600. Next, five lines upon it, we have three more lines, that is eight lines, 800. Now, here, three lines upon that, we have only one more line, that is total 1800. This is average difference. Now, we need to convert into average for three years divided by three. Answer 600. Answer is 600. 600 fourth option. Instead of taking considering exact number, I'm just knowing. I'm just letting. I'm just taking only number of lines because you know each line is hundred. That's the reason why I'm going for it. What was the average per hectare yield for the three states in 2008? 2008. 2008 for three states. Come on. Now we need number exactly. 2500. 2500. And this is 2,900, 3,400. 2,900 and then 3,400. Right. 2,000, 2,000, 3,000, 7,000. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 9, 18. 1,800. 7,000 plus 1,800. That is 8,800. Average. So that is equal to divided by 3. 3, 2 times 6. 28 we have 9 times. How many options are starting with 29? 3 options are there. Okay. And still you have 10 here. That is 3 times. Again 10 we have. Again 3 times. 29, 33 final answer. Second option. Production per hectare for Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal increased by 10, 15, 20, 12 percentage from 2009 to 10. What is the, what was the, Total population per hectare for all three states together in 2010. Okay. Let us write increasing values later, but let me first concentrate here. Odisha, triangle, triangle in 2009, that is equal to 2600. Andhra Pradesh, diamond, 3200. West Bengal, 2300. Now, Odisha increased by what percentage? Odisha, Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, same order we have 10, 15, 12. 10% 260. 15% 10% is 320. 5% is 160. 480. 12% 10% is 230. 2% is 46. 230, 46. 276. Now, to identify the answer, let us observe options, last two digits. Last two digits are almost different except for second and then fifth. Let's see. Let's see. Last two digits verification. Two zeros, two zeros, two zeros we have. Don't worry about it. We have six here. Six, seven, eight. That is 70, 60, 80, 210. Answer should end with 60. Two options are there. Out of these two options, one is starting with 8000 and the other is starting with 9000. Let's see which is whether our answer starts with 8000 or 9000. 2 plus 3 plus 2, 7000. 600, 200, 800 plus 300. That is 1100. Total 8100. 8100. Now, two digits are over. 200, 400, 200, 800. Total answer, 8,900 only. It cannot be in 9,000, 8,816. Second option, final answer. Right, 115. 
respective ratio between present ages of p and q is 80 to 5 the respective ratio between p's age four years back q's age four years hence is 4 is to 3 what is the respective ratio between p's age seven years hence and then q's age seven years back okay now ratio between present ages of p and q is 80 is to 5 eight parts 8x and then 5x ratio between p's age four years back Four years back, it is, it was 8x minus 4. Q's age, four years hence. Q's present age is 5x. Four years hence in the sense, plus 4. Becomes 4 is to 3. That is equal to 4 by 3. Now, simplification. Take four common left hand side numerator. Two times and then this is one time. 2x, three times. 6x. Minus 1 into 3. 3 is equal to 5x plus 4 5x plus 4 now here from this x is equal to minus 3 goes to the other side that becomes 7 now what is your question p's age 7 years since present age of p is equal to 8x 7 into 8 56 after 7 years 56 plus 7 that is equal to 63 63 and at the same time q's age 7 years back Q's present age is 5x, 5 into 7, 35, 7 years back, 35 minus 7, 35 minus 7, that is equal to 28, 7, 9 times year, 7, 4 times year, 9 is to 4, fifth option answer. ABC is an equilateral triangle, BCDE is a square with a side 8. So, B, C, D, E. This is a perfect square with side 8. What is the area of the pentagon? Now, A, B, C is the equilateral triangle with a side base value 8. Area of the equilateral triangle is equal to root 3 by 4, A square, 8 square, that is 64, plus area of the square. Square area, 8 square, that is equal to 64. 4 how many times? 16 times. Both are 16 multiples. Let's take 16 common. Root 3 and then 16 4 times. Root 16 into root 3 plus 4. First option. 16 into 4 plus root 3 or root 3 plus 4. Anything is fine. First option answer. Now this is another one. Again. Come on, let's see. Now, what is this? Annual salary of an employee is in different departments in lakhs of rupees 2006 to 2011. Finance, HR, marketing, production, and then procurement. Annual salary of an employee in different departments. This is These are all salaries of each employees in respect to departments in the respect to year. What is the respect to ratio between sum of annual salary of an employee who worked in finance department and an employee who worked in HR department in the year 2010. 2010, finance and then HR. 2010, finance and then HR. Sum is equal to 7.80. Ratio, this one and the other one. And the other one. And the sum of annual salary of an employee who worked in marketing and an employee who worked in production in the year 2009. 2009 marketing and production 2009 marketing and the production 3 plus 2 5 0.42 0 0.78 that is equal to 1.2 1.2 that is total 6.2 6.2 0 0 gets cancelled you can treat it as 78 by 62 cancellation with 2 2 39 times 2, 31 times, 39 by 31, 39 by 31, fourth option answer. What is the percentage increase in the annual salary of an employee who worked in finance department from 2006 to 2011? Which department finance from 2006 to 11? Finance Department 2006 to 2011. Percentage increase we have to calculate. 
2.94. You can treat as 294 and 424. No problem. This fellow 4 less than 300 and this fellow 124 more than 300. So difference in the sense 124 plus 4 that is 128. 128 increase from which number? 296. 296 percentage into 100. 50 percent of this number becomes 148 but we have less than that. Answer is less than 50 percentage. Look at how many options are there. All are there. Let's say 40 percentage. Now what is 10 percentage? 29.6. You can treat the 29.6 as 0.4 less than 30. 0.4 less than 30. That is 10 percentage. 40 percentage we need. 4 times of this number 120 minus 1.6. 120 minus 1.6. That is 118.4. To this how much more we have to add? We have to add 9.6 more. Then only we will get our numerator 128. How much we have to add? 9.6. Now let's see. 1 percentage is equal to 2.96 approximately 3. And this is 3, 3 times we have. So this value is approximately 3 percentage. But little bit more than 3 percentage. And she should be approximate to 43 percentage. How many options are there? There is only one. 43, 9 by 37. Fourth option, final answer. If in the year 2007, there are 20 employees in HR department, 24 in procurement, 30 in marketing, what is the total expenditure of company X in the annual salaries of employees for these three departments together right 20 people are there in hr department in which year 2007 2007 hr department 2.82 2.82 24 in procurement 24 in procurement procurement that is equal to 2 30 employees in marketing department 30 employees in Marketing department that is 2.60 2.60 now This is what the sum we have to calculate Before going to this let me verify one more thing. This is 3 multiple This is 3 multiple. This is 3 multiple sum of 3 3 multiples is also again 3 multiple Look at your first option first option that is 3 multiple maybe your answer second option not a 3 multiple Third option, not a 3 multiple. Fourth option, not a 3 multiple. And the fifth option is 176.2. That is also not 3 multiple. There is only one 3 multiple. Hence, our final answer is 182.4. Direct answer, 3 multiple. Otherwise, you have to calculate and get the number. Next. If in the year 2012, we have data till 2011 only, but they are mentioning about 2012. If the same question comes in my examination, I will skip the question because how lengthy it is. Maybe it is easy to answer the question, but to read the information and to calculate the answer, it takes time. Based on the time factor, I don't want to calculate this. Now, let's see how to do it. In the year 2012, annual salary of an employee who worked in marketing department is 28% more than Annual salary of an employee who worked in the same department in the year 2011. Marketing department. In 2011, marketing department, we have 4, 4 lakh. Now, here it is 28 percentage more. That becomes 128 percentage of 4 lakh. Next. The annual salary of an employee who worked in procurement department is 17 percentage more than annual salary of an employee who worked in same department in the year 2011, 17 percentage more procurement department, procurement in 2011 we have 2.80, out of 2.80 we need to take 117 percentage because they said 17 percentage more. Next, yes. The annual salary of an employee who worked in finance department is 32 percentage more than annual salary of an employee who worked in the same department in 2011. 32 percentage more in finance department. 
finance department 32 percentage more that is equal to 132 percentage of finance department 4.24 next what is the difference between annual salary of an employee who worked in these three departments in 2011 together and annual salary of employees who worked in these three departments in 2011 difference between annual salaries in 2011 as well as in 2012 difference calculate chayali. every year uh, every department from 2011 to 2012 value is increasing only let us calculate only how much is the increase in that particular value these are all values become that becomes in 2012 but we need only increase increase is 28 percentage here it is 17 percentage here it is 32 percentage of which number e, all these numbers are given in lakhs of rupees hence i would like to treat it as 4.24 2.80 4.00 all are given in lakhs of rupees we have to calculate this value no other shortcut we have yes there is no other shortcut we have to calculate the values and get the number so probably it takes time so i am leaving this question ide actually indak cheppindi chesin tarvata time taking an teliyatam kadu cheyaka munde teliyali first of all lengthy question kabatti ikkade odileyachu otherwise you have to calculate value and get the number there is no specific logic also what is the average annual salary of an employee who worked in production department for all the given years together? Production department for all years. Sum of all these numbers divided by 6. That's the average. Now, instead of going for that, let us go for equality concept benchmark. All the values are starting with 2 lakh only. So, apart from 2 lakh, how much extra we have? That's what our concentration. 48,000, 55,000, 78,000. 48 plus 55 that is equal to 103 103 plus 78 103 plus 78 that is equal to 1.81 lakh this is 1 lakh more this is 1.42 lakh more that is equal to total 2.42 lakh more finally we have 4.23 lakh more divided by 6 that is equal to 0 0.42 7 times so you know that already we have kept 2 lakh separate and then we have 0.7 answer should start with 2.7 lakh meaning 2 lakh 70 thousand something how many options are starting with 2 lakh 70 thousand something there is only one 2 lakh 70 thousand five hundred fourth option our final answer yes we are done with quantity questions now let's see 122 a shopkeeper purchased 84 identical shirts at 240 rupees each. He spent 3200 on transport and packing and fixed market price as 420 for each shirt. Okay. And however, he decided to give a discount of 15 percentage on the market price of each shirt. If he could sell all the shirts, what is the approximate percentage of profit earned by him? Approximate profit percentage. That's what your question now. as it is approximate i would like to calculate cost price here first cost price of each item each item cost price is 240 plus for packing and transport he spent 3200 for 84 shirts per price per shirt it becomes 3200 divided by 84 84 how many times as it is approximate we can directly calculate no problem 84 double 168 168 double 316 168 double 316 3160 if i tell we if you have 84 double 168 168 double 336 if you have 20 times of this number that will be 3, Sixty, three thousand three hundred and sixty. But here we have three thousand two hundred only. One sixty less than this number. That means two times less. That will be eighteen times. So total cost price of each shirt is equal to two hundred and fifty-eight. But he marked it as four twenty rupees, but giving a discount of fifteen percentage. Out of four twenty, he is giving discount fifteen percentage. Ten percent plus five percent. Ten percentage is forty-two. Forty percentage is twenty-one. 
42, 21, 63. If you subtract 63 here, how much it becomes? 120 minus 63, 57. And 400 minus 100, 300. Your cost price is 258, but your selling price is equal to 357. Approximate profit is 100 rupees with respect to 258 percentage into 100. 10 percentage of denominator is 25.8. Treat as 25 only, no problem. How many 25s are here? 4 25s. That means 40 percentage. Answer should be approximate to 40 percentage. Look at your options. How many options are nearby 40 percentage? There is only one. 39 percentage, third option, final answer. In a stream running at 5, 4 km per hour, S is equal to 4, a motor boat goes 18 kilometers upstream and returns back to the starting point in 144 minutes. What is the speed of the motor boat in still water? Now, 18 kilometers traveled in upstream, 18 kilometers traveled in downstream and the total time taken is 144 minutes, minutes converts to hours divided by 60. This is time travel in upstream and this is time taken to cover 18 kilometers in downstream where stream speed is equal to 4, upstream speed is equal to m minus 4, downstream speed is equal to m plus 4, m plus 4. Now, 18 how many times is 144? 18, 8 times. Take 18 common and here it you'll have 8 times. 4, 2 times, 4, 15 times. 1 by m minus 4 and then 1 by m plus 4 is equal to 2 by 15. Now we need to calculate what is m value. Now, just I'll go for answer to question verification. Right hand side you have 15. When you take LCM of m minus 4 and then m plus 4, you should have 15 multiple. Let's see. 20 minus 4, 20 plus 4. 16 and then 24. No chance of getting 5 multiple. If it is 16, 16 minus 4, 16 plus 4. 12 and then 20. There is a chance of getting 15 multiple. Let's see that. If it is 16, 16 minus 4, that is 1 by 12. And then this is 1 by 20. The LCM of these two numbers is equal to 60. 12, 5 times, 20, 3 times, that is equal to 8. 8 by 20, 8 by 60 in the sense, that is equal to 2 by 15 only simplified form. Hence, second option is our final answer. Instead of solving this, I would like to go for substitution method. A project manager estimated that he would complete the project in time if he hires 36 people for 40 days. At the end of 32 days, out of 42 days, already 32 days, 2 days they worked. He realized that only one fourth of the work is complete. How many more men does he need to hire to complete the remaining work in time? Okay. Total how many days we have? 40 days. Out of 42 days, 40 days, how many days over? 32 days. Remaining number of days? 8 days. How many people started? 36 people. 36 people started, they worked for 32 days and finished only 3 fourth of the work. We are using MDH by W. M1 D1 by W1 is equal to if 3 fourth work is already done, how much is remaining? 1 fourth. Out of 40 days, if 32 days are already over, remaining number of days? 8 days. And we need to have extra men force. Already men are 36. If you include X people, that is into X. 4, 4 gets cancelled. 3, 12 times year. 4, 8, 4 times year. 12 into 4, 48. 36 plus X is equal to 48 x is equal to 48 minus 36 that is equal to 12 first option answer next in the given below abcd is a perfect square so this is a perfect square with side 10 and ad is diagonal then triangle acd area is going to be exactly half of the square area abcd Exactly half of the square area. Now your question is to identify area of the quadrilateral AEFD. AEFD. Now for the quadrilateral, we have 
four equal triangles four equal triangles where one triangle area is equal to exactly half of square abcd area with the side 10 then square area is equal to 10 square that is 100 one triangle area is equal to half of this like that in our quadrilateral how many triangles are there four triangles are there for two times two into 100 200 fourth option is our answer fourth option answer distance between point a and b is 592 kilometers at 11 am a car starts from a at 36 km per hour and at 1 pm another car starts from point b at 44 km per hour towards point e both are moving opposite to each other at what time will they meet now distance between both of them is equal to 592 kilometers and here train a starts at 11 am and b starts at 1 pm a is traveling with speed 36 km per hour and b is traveling with the speed 44 km per hour now first one starts at 11 am and second one starts at 1 pm after how many hours a first train started second one is starting two hours in those two hours first train will cover 72 kilometers because its speed is 36 km per hour now first train is here out of 592 kilometers 72 kilometers already covered and now the time is 1 pm at 1 pm how much is the distance between both the trains 592 minus 72 that is equal to 520 and now to cover 520 kilometers both the trains travel opposite to each other relative speed becomes s1 plus s2 36 plus 44 that is equal to 80 0 0 gets cancelled 6 times 48 and then 4 we have half we have from what time it takes 6 and a half hours from 1 o'clock it takes 7 6 and a half hours so the time becomes 7 30 pm at 7 30 pm both will meet each other that is third option for these type of questions we need to make sure the condition true always that is take the position of both the trains or both the cars or both the persons at starting time of the second one e condition this contain a make a correct answer next 127 so these are all number series questions wrong number series wrong number series must be given last priority yes 132 onwards again data analysis table table will be easy in general number of employees in five departments of an organization at offices and clerical level number of employees table is usually easy ga untundi time taking undadu takku time lo usually got time okay single image undali table undali unte chala thondaraga ayipothadi now what percent of employees in department c or officers rounded off to nearest integer officers percentage so in c total how many people we have 130 120 250 6 plus 4 10 total 260 out of 260 officers are 136 and you are asked to calculate percentage 50 percentage of the denominator is equal to 130 extra how much more we have to add 6 more we have to add 1 percentage is 2.6 2 percentage is 5.2 approximate to 6 that is equal to approximate 2 percentage final answer is 52 percentage approximate fifth option answer number of clerks in department a b d together is approximately what percentage less than total number of officers in these departments together a b d a b d clerk 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 in a b d a b and then d 120 120 120 first of all 360 5 plus 8 13 13 plus 6 19 360 plus 19 379 these are all clerks and then officers in the same departments 140 150 160 that is equal to 450 5 plus 2 7 7 plus 4 11 450 plus 11 
461. Now your question is to identify what percentage less. This is how much less. This number is 21 less than 400 and this number is 61 more than 400. 21, 61 that is 82 from what percentage less? 82 less from 461 percentage into 100. Now, 20 percentage of denominator, 10 percentage is 46, 20 percentage is 92. And to get numerator, again we have to subtract 10. If 20 percentage is 92, 2 percentage is 9.2, approximately 10 only. Hence from this, if you subtract 2 percentage, final answer, 18 percentage. Fifth option answer. This is different again. Two images are there. Comparatively single image, whenever you have two images, that takes time. Distribution of total cellular phones, we have 66,000. A, B, C, D, E, F. These are all cell phone uh, distributors. Respect to ratio of Nokia, Samsung and then HTC, HTC. Right. Total number of Samsung, HTC cellular phones together sold by store F is what percentage of the number of cellular phones sold by store A. Store A sold what percentage? 14 percentage. With respect to 14 percentage, we have to identify our answer. Now, what is that we want to consider? Samsung and HTC sold by Story F. Story F, how much percentage we have? 17 percentage we have. Now, Story F is having Nokia, Samsung, HTC in the respect to ratio 7 is to 6 is to 7. Probably this may not be visible for you. 7 is to 6 is to 7. Total how many parts are there? 20 parts are there. Out of these 20, HTC and then Samsung. HTC and Samsung together, they are 7 and 6, 13 parts. So now, 13 parts out of 20 parts among 17 percentage of 66,000 is what percentage of total mobile souls from store A? 14 percentage of 66,000. This percentage and this percentage calculated on both the numbers, same numbers, I don't want to convert it. 13 into 17. Let's write it as it is. 13 can be written as 15 minus 2, 15 plus 2, 15 square minus 2 square, 225 minus 2 square, 4, 221 divided by 20 into 14 that is equal to 280 percentage into 100. Now look at your options. Options are nearby 75 percentage and 80 percentage. Let me calculate. See, almost for every question we are looking for options. 75 percentage. How do we get 75 percent? Half plus half of the number. Half in the sense 140, again half in the sense 70. 140, 70, 210. 75 percentage is equal to 210. To get numerator, again we have to add 11. 1 percentage is 2.8. 2.8 double, 5.6. 5.6 double, 11.2 approximate to that. So, this value is approximate to 4 percentage and she should be very close to 79 percentage. How many options are close to 79 percentage? Third option 78, 13 by 14. Third option final answer. What is the difference between total number of Nokia phones sold by B, C, D together? Total number of HTC sold by same stores together. Okay. Nokia and then HTC. Every time let us subtract Nokia minus HTC for B, C, D stores. Finally, we need to know the difference only. Every time calculate difference only. Nokia and then HTC. For which store? B, C, D. B, what percent we have? 8 percentage. Right. B, we have total 8 percentage and 8 percentage is divided into 16 parts. Each part is equal to half percentage. Difference between Nokia and HTC. Nokia and HTC in the sense first and then last. 
Nokia minus HTC, six parts minus five part, one part. One part is equal to half percentage. Half percentage of this number. One percentage is six sixty. Half percentage is three thirty. Next. C total we have thirty two percentage divided into eight parts. Three parts, three parts, two parts, eight parts. Each part is equal to four percentage. Nokia minus HTC. One part that is equal to four percentage. Four into six forty that is equal to six hundred four times two thousand four hundred plus two forty two thousand six hundred forty. And then D D again we have eighteen percentage divided into nine parts. Each part is equal to two percentage. Nokia minus HTC is equal to five parts minus two parts three parts three into two six percent six percent of this number. One percentage is six sixty. Six percentage in the sense into six. Six hundred six times three thousand six hundred plus three sixty. Three thousand nine hundred sixty. Now answer should end with thirty. Look at your options. How many options are ending with thirty? There is only one. Six nine three zero direct answer. Six nine. Three zero direct answer. Now this is one way how you can solve this question. There is another way also. Now every time our percentage is calculated on sixty six thousand only. Here you will get some number of parts. Here you will get some number of parts. Here you will get some number of parts calculated with respect to these numbers. As this fellow is eleven multiple difference of HTC and Nokia is also eleven multiple for three stores. So final answer also should be eleven multiple. First option is not eleven multiple. Second option is not eleven multiple. Third option is not eleven multiple. Fourth option is also not eleven multiple. Fifth option eleven multiple. Final answer. Without calculating also you can answer this question. Next, average number of Samsung cellular phones sold by all the given stores together. Average of Cellular phones sold by all seven stores together. Now, here also you can apply seven multiplication, eleven multiple rule. But fourth option is eleven multiple, fifth option is also eleven multiple. So hence we have to calculate this, no doubt. Which phone? Samsung phone. Okay, Samsung. That is middle one. How many parts are there? Three parts out of seven parts. Three out of seven. Among fourteen percentage, we'll convert percentage to number later. Five parts out of sixteen parts among eight percentage. Five out of sixteen among eight percentage. Next, three parts out of eight parts among thirty-two. Three out of eight among thirty-two. Next, D. Two out of nine among eighteen. Two out of nine among eighteen. Let me first write numbers, then we'll convert into numbers later. Three out of eleven among eleven. Three out of eleven among eleven percent. Six out of twenty among seventeen. Six out of seventeen among twenty percentage. Where each percentage is equal to six sixty. You know that. Seven. How many times? Two times. This is two times. This is six percent. Five by two. Two and a half percent. Four times. Three into four. Twelve percentage. Nine two times. Four percentage. Three percentage. And this is one twenty by seven. One twenty by seven. Seven or seventeen. Seventeen we have. Yes. Sorry, this is mistaken. Six out of twenty among seventeen. I'm mistaken. So you can write it as three by ten, fifty-one by ten percentage. Fifty-one by ten percent. Fifty-one by ten percentage. All these are percentages only. 
Hence, you know that answer is 11 multiple. There are two options. Either this or this. Now, everywhere we have different last digits. And then, yeah, last digit verification. Last digit verification is the only best possible thing that we can do. Now, let me first separate integer in percentage. 6, 2, 12, 4, 3. I'll separate all these values first. Extra value. Half percentage we have. 10 percentage is 6600. 1 percentage is 660. Half percentage is also 330. This is also ending with 0. This ends with 0. This ends with 0. This ends with 0. This ends with 0. This is also ending with 0. Now here it is. 51 by 10 into 1 percentage. What is 1 percentage? 660. Now the last value is equal to 51 by 10 into 660. 0, 0 gets cancelled. Last digit 1 into 6 ends with 6. Except this number, remaining numbers are all ending with 0. This is the only one which is ending with 6. Hence answer should end with 6. How many options are there? There is only one. 3, 5, 8, 6, final answer. We are going for only last digit verification. Central angle. Whenever we have question based on central angle, I told you to verify 9 multiplication rule. First option is 9 multiple. That may be your answer. Hold it. Second option is not a 9 multiple. Third option is also a 9 multiple. Multiple options are there. Let's see. For which one? For store C. Store C, what percentage we have? 32 percentage. What is 1 percentage? 3.6. 6 into 2. Answer should end with 0. 0.2. How many options are ending with 0. 0.2? Again, two options are there. Okay. Multiple options are there. There is no other way. We have to calculate. Come on. 32, 3 times. 96. 32, 3 times. If you know 6 times, you can convert into 0. 0.6 times. 3 times is this number. 6 times is exactly double, which is 192. 0.6 is equal to 19.2, which is equal to 115.2. First option. Total number of Nokia cell phones sold by store AE together is what percentage less than number of cell phones sold by D? Nokia by A and E. Nokia. First one. Two parts out of 7 among 14 percentage. If 7 parts is equal to 14 percentage, each part is equal to 2. Nokia phones are 2 parts that is equal to 4 percentage and then E. E total we have 11 par percentage. 11 parts is equal to 11 percentage. Each part is equal to 1 percentage. Nokia 3 parts that is 3 percentage. This is calculated as a percentage with respect to total number of cell phones sold by D. D sold how much? 18. Percentage into 100. So this value is equal to 7 by 18 into 100. Now look at your denominators. Everywhere you have denominator 9. If you cancel both 100 and 18 with 2, you will get 9 here. You will get 50 here. So 7 into 50, 350 divided by 9. Your numerator is ending with 0. Let's verify that. 6 into 9, uh, sorry, 1 into 9 plus 1 ends with 0. 5 into 9 plus 5 ends with again 0. 9, 3 is 27 plus 2, not ending with 0. This cannot be your answer. 9, 9 is 81 plus 7. This is not ending with 0. And this is also not ending with 0. Okay. Now let's calculate. No problem. What happened? How come it be 60 percentage? Together is what percentage less? Yes. I'm mistaken here. As they said, what percentage less? If it becomes 7 by 18, how much less it is? 
11 parts out of 18 parts percentage into 100. 11 out of 18 into 100. This is what we need to calculate. Even then we have numerator is ending with 0 only. Let me treat it as cancellation with 2, 50 times and then 9 times. 550 by 9. 9, 6 times, 54 and then you have 10, 1 time. There is only one option which is starting with 61. First option, final answer. Right, we'll stop here for today and we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you.